Hello, I'm Simit Chandel for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We've recently added the Oboe C++ audio library to the Android game SDK. Oboe is designed for high performance, low latency audio, is well suited for game development, and is supported across the widest range of Android devices. On Android 8.1 and up, Oboe takes advantage of the improved performance and features of A-Audio while maintaining backwards compatibility with Android 4.1 and higher. Oboe also adds key features on top of the platform APIs to improve the audio developer experience, such as resampling, format conversion, and dynamic latency tuning. To integrate the Oboe library pre-built into your project and to get started with some Oboe basics, check out the post linked in the description. Getting compute engine resources for batch processing just got easier. We are excited to announce a new method of obtaining compute engine instances for batch processing that accounts for availability of resources in zones of a region. Now available in preview, you can use this new method by specifying the any value in the GCE API or by setting the value of the instance group via the gcloud CLI. For more information on setting up the configuration, check out the post. We're excited to announce the preview of the new ops agent. While virtual machines running on GCE provide some system logs and metrics, capturing application and advanced system data to help run and troubleshoot your production services has required the installation of both a metrics agent and a logging agent. The newly available ops agent combines both the metrics and logging agents into one easy to install agent that can support a wider variety of use cases that require a higher throughput. To learn how to install the ops agent and more information on using it once installed, check out the post. We recently announced an official setup Dart action providing Dart support for GitHub Actions. This action supports downloading, installing, and configuring the Dart SDK so you can run Dart build and test jobs with ease on GitHub Actions. If you author a Dart package for pub.dev, we encourage you to enable CI testing with GitHub Actions for your repo. To get started with the new setup Dart GitHub action, check out the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Samit Chandel for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.